It was the summer of 1915. 2,500 people boarded the SS Eastland in hopes of having a fun and relaxing day across the lake in Michigan City, Indiana. But their plans took a turn for the worst when the Eastland flipped over before it even left the harbor. One hundred years later, millions of people walk by the Chicago River between Clark and LaSalle each year, and little do they know that they are in the same place that the largest Chicago disaster occurred, resulting in 844 deaths and 22 families totally wiped out. Seventy percent of these victims were between 15 and 30 years old, and 24 of these victims were five or under. The SS Eastland was launched on May 6, 1903, and was 265 feet long with a draft of 19 feet 6 inches and a 39-foot beam. Originally, the boat was designed to carry 650 passengers, but in 1915 it had major retrofitting. After that, it could allegedly carry 2,500 passengers. The ship was infamous for being unstable and would tip almost all the way onto its side at times. After the sinking of the Titanic in 1912, a significant number of life preservers and lifeboats were added to every boat in use, which included the Eastland, so that in case of an emergency, the passengers would be able to evacuate properly. But unbeknownst to them, this added weight would add up to 62 tons and be one of the causes of the incident. With this added weight, the original instability of the ship, and the maximum amount of passengers on board were factors that came together on July 24, 1915, when the disaster occurred.
morning, it would have happened at some point in time. It was, it was basically a disaster waiting to happen. Hours after the trial occurred, a jury was convened and President Woodrow Wilson set the Secretary of Commerce, William Redfield, to begin the investigation to find out who was accountable for this terrible disaster. Finally, after months of this ongoing criminal trial, each of the defendants were concluded not guilty. The Eastland disaster paved new roads to the public's opinions on safety and regulations in the ship industry through the encounter of this tragedy. This tragedy has such a profound effect on the public eye that going on a boat used to be a huge treat and special occasion deserving of your Sunday best was now something to be feared and avoided as much as possible because of the risks that it held. This disaster also helped in the exploration and exchange of different safety precautions and regulations. For example, the stability test, which is now mandatory on every ship in use, was not at the time, but due to the Eastland disaster, those in charge of the ships saw a need for a mandatory stability check on all ships that were in service. The disaster left 844 bodies to be retrieved from the water and put somewhere before their burial. These bodies were taken to a makeshift morgue, which was then the 2nd Regiment Armory Building, which is located on West Washington Boulevard. Later, this building was made into a recording studio, which was the home of the Oprah Winfrey Show. For the next few weeks, Church bells were ringing non-stop because of all the funerals and the city was in a state of mourning. One hundred years later, barely anyone in the city of Chicago is informed about this tragic disaster. And so, we dedicate this documentary to all those who were on the ship and those who work to inform more people about this terrible disaster. <laughs>